Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how you can double your income by doubling the value you're creating in your business. I've pulled together a uh, spreadsheet, which I'm going to make available to you at the end of this video. There's a number of tabs. It's going to walk you through systematically how to do this. So let's walk through this and then I'll make it available to you at the end of the video. So let's assume today you're making $50,000. You know there's 365 days in a year. Let's assume you don't work weekends, so that means we're going to take off 104 days for the weekends. There's 52 weeks in a year, two days on the weekend, so that's 104 days. Let's assume you want to take four weeks off for vacation with your family, so that's another 20 days. And you're going to take off all the statutory holidays. I'm going to assume that's 10 days. You can go through and count it and get really precise with this, but what I want to do is give you a ballpark on the amount of value that you are creating today in your business if you have 50,000. So if you're earning 50,000 and you take weekends off and you take 20 days of vacation and you take the stat holidays off, you're earning $216 a day currently in your business. And if your goal is to go to 120 or, you know, let's just use 120,000 and we're assuming you're going to take the same work uh, holidays, so you're not going to work weekends, you're going to take the same amount of days off in a given uh, month, and you're going to take the same stat holidays, so you're going to need $519 a day. So this is the first sheet. This just gives us some data, where we are and where we want to get to. We want to understand that. The first thing always is to understand where you are and where you want to get to, because it allows us to take the quickest road to get there. All right, so we're going to hop over to the next tab. So this is something that I learned from Stephen Covey in The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. This is all about quadrants. And what you're going to see is most people spend a lot of time thinking about time management. They create to-do lists. They work their way through the to-do lists. And they're very good at looking busy. When I had a corporate job and I had nearly 500 people reporting up to me, it was amazing how busy people were. And they were busy being busy, but they weren't necessarily getting things done, if you know what I mean. They weren't spending their time on the appropriate uh, priorities and activities that would lead to them getting you know, raises and uh, progression in their careers. And so this is something that I used very often when I was actually in the corporate world in terms of showing my employees how they could move up in the business. And it works just as equally for business owners. So again, we can't manage time. Right? We all have 24 hours. You, me, Bill Gates, everyone has 24 hours in a day. It is nothing to do with time, so you can't manage that. What you can manage are priorities and activities. And that's the type of things that you're doing with the time that you're spending at work. So we've already established you're going to spend 231 days working. And what are you going to do with that time is the key decision and criteria that's going to determine the level of income you're going to make. So where we want to spend our time. We want to spend our time on the important and non-urgent, right? And most people spend a lot of time in the important urgent, which is firefighting, and they spend a lot more time in the urgent, non-important. This is the busy work. This is the work that has to get done in the business, but you as the business owner, the leader, the person that's driving growth for your business, this is what you should be delegating. So I've given you some examples of things that go into each of these quadrants. So for important and non-urgent, these are things like strategy, planning, systems and processes that you put into place, prevention, making sure that problems that have come up don't happen again, simplifying your business, relationships. So yesterday I asked a question on a Facebook group and Stephen Kang, good buddy of mine, commented that he spent three minutes on the phone with a joint venture partner that potentially could lead to a million dollar deal for him. And this is an example of important but not urgent. Nobody was pressing him to do that. He did that, he invested the time, and now he's gonna be able to reap the rewards when that comes to fruition, right? And then if you look in this quadrant over here, this is you know the important and urgent. These are the things that are firefighting problems. Paying clients coming to you and saying, hey, I have this issue, I need you to take care of it. You know, you're hiring people in here, you're deadline driven, something's coming up and you feel pressed and you have to take care of it. These are project based things. They're important to your business, they're urgent, but the reason that you have to take care of it is because you haven't taken the time in the non-urgent important to build a system, a process, to hire people, to, to take care of anticipating those problems in your business so that they're not hitting your desk. 
And then when you get down over here, this is the delegation, right? This is the urgent, non-important. Now, there are things that have to get done in your business that are urgent and not important, meaning that they're not what's going to grow you to that next level. You have to deliver the services and the goods that you've sold to your clients, but it doesn't have to be delivered from you, right? So these are things like other people's priorities. So very often you're going to get phone calls from people that you work with, their priorities, and they're trying to drive your time. Same thing with email, same thing with uh, mail for that matter, meetings. Meetings are like, really, I put it there twice, and, and the reality of it is, is like most meetings, really only one or two people need to be involved, but you know, a lot of people get dragged into them. And then the last thing, this is the delete section. And when I say this is the delete section, this is the delete section as it relates to the 231 days that you're working. These are things that are sucking your time. They're not urgent. They're not important. They're really not going to move the needle in terms of the value you're going to create in your business that's going to help you double your income. These are things like busy work, pleasurable activities. There's a time and place for them. It's just not during your work day. All right. So the next step, what I've done is I've created a form here that you can fill out that's going to track your activities. And so what I want to show you here is every day you're working on things between, you know, you, whatever your work day is, if you're putting in an eight hour day, really what I want to demonstrate here is every half hour, what are you working on? Are you working on a $5 an hour task, a $50 an hour task, a $500 an hour task, or a $5,000 an hour task. And what I want to show you here is what the difference is in each of those tasks. So for a $5 task, remember it's relative, could be five, could be 10, could be 15, really depends where you are in the world. But there's a lot of things that we can delegate to VAs and employees. And because we're in a digital world, they can be other places in the world doing it for us. These are things like running errands, uh, you know, cutting your grass, uh, scraping emails, posting to your social media. These are things that other people can take care of for you for a fairly low cost. Then you get to like the $50 an hour, $75 an hour range. And what you find is you probably spend a lot of your time working on these things, figuring them out. This could be something, doing something with WordPress. This could be, you know, filing your accounting and, and taking care of your accounting yourself rather than hiring a, uh, a bookkeeper to do it. These activities are worth about $50 an hour. Then you're going to get over here to the $500 an hour category. And this is really where you can double your income. This is fairly easy for you to do. But what you're going to find is there are usually the things that are urgent, sorry, that are important, but not urgent. So these are things like building sales pages, video sales letters, pulling together new products, all of the things that when you do, ultimately are going to lead to those bigger value dollars coming into your business, but there's nothing pressing you to do it. So unless you schedule it, it doesn't happen. And really what this spreadsheet is designed to do is allows you to track yourself for a week. So you can start to see where you are in terms of the value you're creating in your business. And then the last category is the $5,000 task. So $5,000 an hour, you know, not everybody's going to be able to create that. And there's no way you're going to be able to create that every hour, depending on where your business is. Obviously some people can, but if you're, you know, if you're trying to go from 50 to a hundred thousand, you're probably not going to have that many $5,000 hours, but these are things that could happen, right? You may speak at a local chamber of commerce event where there's going to be a hundred businesses in your town and you're going to land three or four clients from that arranging that speaking gig or doing that speaking gig. And ultimately that's going to be a $5,000 for that hour activity. It's going to bring in a lot of business for you. And there, you know, you can talk to a JV partner, you can set up a new distribution for your business. Something of that nature is going to magnify the value for that day. And what this spreadsheet is designed to do is just going to calculate the hours that you've worked and the dollars that you've created. And it's going to give you a daily value created. So because we have the 5,000 in here, if we knock that out, you'll see this will drop down. And what would end up happening is you want to see what daily value you created versus your daily target. And your daily target is going to be pulled from this sheet over here. It's already uh, written so that it's just going to pull it. So whatever you put in there, it's going to flow through. And again, like I said, I'm going to give you that spreadsheet. And you're going to be able to go through and track your week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then at the end, you're going to end up with a summary. And the summary is going to show you what the value you created in that week. It's going to ask you to put in here how many days you work. So if you worked five days because you took the weekend off, 
then put in five if you worked all seven, put in seven. Then what it's gonna do is it's gonna take, figure out your average value per day, and then it's gonna multiply it by the number of days that you're gonna work in the year. And what this is doing is it's training you to spend more time on these high value activities, and this is a key performance indicator. What ends up happening is if you're trending and doing work that is the high value work, as you go through doing this week in and week out, two, three, four, five weeks later down the road, what you're going to see is your income is going to skyrocket. It's going to double. It's just the nature of the game. By spending more and more time on these high value activities, you're going to bring in more clients and that's going to drive more revenue for your business, which is ultimately going to end up with more dollars in your pocket and double your income. So hopefully you got something from this video. If you did, definitely smash that thumbs up button. As I said, I'm going to make this spreadsheet available to you. All you need to do is just either click the button below or comment below and I'll send it to you. One of those two, um, I'll make sure there's a link below the YouTube video so you can just click on it and my team will send that out to you. If you have any questions, definitely drop them below. I'm happy to engage with you here on the channel and I'll see you in the next video.